What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another A to Z of Ark for you guys today and today we are taking a look at none other than the Ichthyornis. Now, as you can see over there in the distance, there are quite a few of these guys and you'll generally find these guys located on the beaches of pretty much all of the Ark maps. Now, in order to tame them, they can be tedious because what happens is they will attack you and they will steal literally anything from you. They will steal anything and the thing is you won't be able to get it back. So any food, any meat, berries, anything like that, these guys will steal it and they will consume it and prevent you from getting it back. Now, in order to tame these guys up, you will need some raw prime fish meat. You can see we've got some here. However, you will also need a crossbow, some bowlers and trank arrows. Now, you obviously don't need the bowlers. They're not mandatory, but they definitely help. In order to get raw prime fish meat, for those of you that don't know, pretty much you need to come upon a saber tooth salmon, kill said saber tooth salmon and harvest it up with a sickle. You can obviously use tames and stuff like that. Um, if you have another ichthyornis, you can actually use that to get more prime meat but the sickle is your best bet. Now, once you've got one of these guys locked into your sights, all you need to do, oh God, oh God. And you can see that they just consumed two of our raw prime fish meat. What you need to do then is bowler one of them or as many as you want, I guess. And then simply knock it out like any standard tame. Now, ooh, you generally, that's, that brings me to my next point. You generally will not want to aim for these guys in the head because they are bastard. They are very weak. So you will generally kill them with a headshot. Um, if you have trank arrows, not sorry, trank darts, you will be much better off using those on these guys. If not, you can use trank arrows. Just make sure they aim for the body. One will generally be enough. This guy should go to sleep, I'm hoping. All right, he's dead. This is where the problem lies. So unless you're going for like a high level one, you will struggle to uh, knock these guys out using crossbow arrows. So try and go for a higher level one if you can, if not bring along a long neck rifle and also make sure that you don't knock them out in the actual ocean. Why are these all level 35? I don't want to shoot it in the head. You know what, this one, we're just going to long neck it. And we'll bring the darts out. We'll go for the normal darts. I know we have a creative mode on, but this is just to show you guys the process of taming them. And I can tell I'm already doing a bang up job. So <laughs> pretty much from then, just shoot them in the head. Don't shoot it in the head, because apparently that's still enough to kill it. All right, here we go. Last taming attempt. This is generally how most of my videos go. So if you haven't already subscribed and you want to see more failures like this, please do, because I can guarantee you, you will find plenty of them through the channel. All righty, we just need one of these guys to attack us, or we can try our luck at just straight up shooting one of the bars. Seriously, give me my gear back. But see what I mean about uh, getting grabbed by them? Okay, here we go. This guy is probably going to die from that aloe just over there. All right, let's load up our trank. There we go. That should be more than enough to knock it out. They really don't have that high a torpor. So there you go. You can see there it's knocked out. It is very low, however. So chuck in some raw prime fish meat. You generally won't need more than like five, uh, depending on your settings. If you're playing on like standard official settings, I'm pretty sure for something like this, you'll only need one or two pieces of raw prime meat. But you can see they don't have much health. So wait for it to tame up. It shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to defend it by killing this aloe over here because it's making me nervous. Don't you dare kill my seagull. Okay. There we go. That's taken care of. So let's take a look at our little dude here. He's taking his time. We're going to speed things up here a little bit. There we go. So once you've got these guys tamed up, you can pretty much... Okay, you will probably need a little bit raw, more raw prime fish meat than I expected. Um, however, if you have access to kibble, these guys do prefer regular kibble over their raw prime fish meat. So if you do have access to that, definitely use that instead of the raw prime fish meat. Whoa, 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 where are you going, little dude? Come here, come here, come here. But once you've got these guys tamed up, you can pretty much use them to gather prime meat and raw prime fish meat from a multiple of multiple dinos. So let's, is that a unicorn? No. Let's just throw this guy out real quick. He's on hunt. We don't want him on hunt. And I apologize for the sun being so bright. So you can see here we've got hunt and retrieve and hunt. Now hunt will cause him to pretty much go out and attack anything that you tell him to attack. So dodos, fish, uh, listrosauruses, anything like that. Hunt and retrieve will automatically set it out on itself. You do need to set its behavior stance to aggressive as well. And that will enable it to attack whatever it is that's in the area. Now it will only attack the smaller tame. So like listros, dodos, fish... All that sort of stuff. But you can see here, we've got the Listro here. We're going to throw our Seagull. And you can see there, he picks it up and he will eat it. Make sure you do have this guy on follow. Otherwise, you can potentially lose him. 
Can you go back and kill the Lystra? Go back and kill the Lystra, mister. Okay. Um, he just doesn't want to function today. We're going to come back over here to the Lystra. And we're going to get it to eat the Lystro because pretty much what it can get off Lystros and Dodos and anything kind of small like that is essentially raw prime meat. Um, obviously, if you get it to attack fish, it will give you raw prime fish meat. But this is the way you can go about using this guy to get raw prime meat and it will help you uh, gather it. Now, you can see it takes a little bit of time, but if you pump up melee damage, it will go a little bit quicker for yourself. Plus, this um, Lystrosaurus is also probably a super high level. Thank you, Raptors, for coming along. I appreciate it. And you can see that he will bring us back the body. Well, if we have him on Hunt and Retrieve. But uh, these guys are a bit annoying because they do just take off on their own. So you have to be constantly monitoring them. Now, you don't always get prime meat. You will occasionally get normal meat and only occasionally will you get prime meat. But let's come over to the fishing pond over here where there's a lot of fish. So what we'll do is we'll throw him out again. We're going to change him, though, to Hunt and Retrieve. And we're going to set him on to Aggressive. And this will cause him to go out to the pond and start attacking fish. You can see there, you can see him diving in there and consuming all the fish. And he will actually bring you back the fish, which you can either harvest for yourself or you can have him um, eat them. But you can see here, every time he brings back a fish, you have a chance to get raw prime fish meat off it. So you can see there, we just got a bunch of raw prime fish meat. Normally, you will not receive prime fish meat off these coelacanths, and the bigger the fish, the more prime meat you would get. So if you are after a source of raw prime fish meat, then look no further than the Ichthyornis, because this guy will definitely sort you out in that department. So, yeah, would recommend taming up one of these guys if you are after a lot of prime fish meat. But other than that, guys, there's not really much else to say about them. They're, that's pretty much all they do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one.